the iPhone say plus is coming and I'll be sharing the details right after this if you new here won't stay up to date with the latest tactic please subscribe followed by the valve in the description so before we get started it may should smash a thumbs up if you're excited for the iPhone say if you waiting for to surprise many people that Apple could deliver a device using the 13 by owning it just $399 also surprise people there with the absence of the iPhone say plus today we've got both good news and bad and will be going through Hawaii this is a bit of a strange situation the iPhone say is available to buy today and it's essentially an iPhone rate with the 13 instead of the 11 and its cameras been changed with the iPhones no this of course is the reason that Apple are able to sell the device so cheap because it's 100% made of parts used in other smartphones Apple haven't made this totally clear but it is the case and it has been proven over the years appeared on reddit with someone provided us with the teardown of the iPhone say compared with the iPhone 8 we can see from the video that it is pretty much identical the point was further proven when the motherboard was removed from the iPhone say replaced with an iPhone a motherboard after doing this the handset was able to boot as normal and everything worked including the display speakers front camera and even the haptic feedback the the only thing that didn't work with the Ray camera and of course the reason for this is that it comes from the iPhone next I guess Apple may have also wanted to use this design on one last time as it has to be their favorite I mean let's face it if we compare the iPhone 6 7 and the iPhone rate is the same font design on all of them no that's not a bad thing as such because those who don't want to pay $1000 for the latest iPhone now get have the iPhone say when it doesn't have an incredible display or camera that does have a decent chipset that can effortlessly run all of the latest apps and games know many of you out there like me prefer the plus model of these phones and wondering where the iPhone say plus is I mean if it is going to be the same I'm guessing we'll get an iPhone 8 plus shall no probably throw in some cameras from the iPhone 10 the good news is that the iPhone say plus is coming but the bad news is it's going to be delayed John Prosser previously advised that this would be the case and has now been confirmed by Mink who is also a very credible when it comes to Apple leaks John Prosser advises that we can expect the iPhone say plus in March next year but Michiko's latest information disagrees Gold Coast confirmed the iPhone say plus does exist with no evidence was already discovered in code for iOS 14 he does however tell us that the iPhone say plus is can be delayed until the second half of 2021 when he originally predicted it would be in the first half of 2021 he believes Apple's timeline has now changed thanks to the recent outbreak considering it will again be using the same parts of the iPhone rate it seems strange to make consumers wait another year for the same time it does make sense for the sales or those wanting the plus will essentially have to wait another year for the same chipset it also means that the price could say the same if it was to be released now then the base model would of course cost more than $400 it would also harm the sales on the smaller iPhone iPhone say quietly selling the one it means those who do want to budget phone right now pretty much only have one choice the iPhone say come next year they can sell the same device again in the plus shall probably be able to price it from $400 again it will be an iPhone a plus with the a 13 and a dual camera from the iPhone 10 though of course those who want a new phone this year and also want to plus model can hold out for the iPhone 12 others can cost them a lot more money the iPhone 12 is can be coming this year there were rumors that the larger model may also be getting delayed as well we've already had a lot of information leaked on the iPhone 12 so quickly run through the details when it comes to the iPhone 12 though one thing we haven't had leaked yet is the name although we are unlikely to see any radical changes so can we shoot for this video it is for the Apple iPhone 12 we're expecting to get for a new iPhone 12 in the range which can be two different iPhone 12 12 Pro and the iPhone 12 Pro Max we're expecting Apple to increase the display sizes on the most premium models will those who want to smolder display is still going have an option reliable analyst Mink Crow is advised that this can be two iPhone 12 versions the small iPhone 12 is can have a 5.4 inch display the large one will have a 6.1 inch we think it is 6.1 inch display which is the iPhone 12 Pro the 6.7 inch display which is the iPhone 12 Pro Max unlike last year however all models reportedly can be using an outlet display and the resolution will differ across the range the 6.1 inch iPhone 12 would likely have a lower resolution than the 6.1 inch iPhone 12 Pro more there are rumors of Apple removing the notch I really can't see this happening in typical Apple fashion was still expecting a full screen display 
day with a notch top center it's too early for him display camera sensors and I can't see Apple going for a poncho they also need a time of flight sensor on the front for the 3D face unlocked while Apple did this a fingerprint scanner on the iPhone 10 the report of this can be coming back in the form of an inch display fingerprint scanner there are reports suggesting that Apple also can be increasing their refresh rates on the latest displays almost phones have stuck to 60 Hertz displays has been changing recently and Apple are also going to be joining this trend at this stage we don't know if they can be using 90 Hertz 120 Hertz or even a mixture of the two across the range when it comes to the rear of the device we're expecting a similar camera setup to last year the more premium model will have more cameras Michiko has again advised that both the iPhone 12 Pro the iPhone 12 Pro Max again regarding time of flight cameras to the RAM for those unaware time of flight cameras of 3D depth cameras and what Apple uses on the front for the 3D face unlocked the time of flight sensors on the ray however use slightly different technology that allow it to map 3d objects from further away this significantly improves augmented reality applications allows for more improved portrait style photo and video effects will likely can see slight upgrades on the other cameras of the iPhone 12 but given the great performance and its predecessor they will be changing things too much reports suggesting that the two more budget models again have a dual camera setup or the iPhone 12 Pro and the iPhone 12 Pro Max can have a core camera setup with the inclusion of the 3D depth camera the iPhone 12 is of course can be powered by the new 814 bionic processor this is actually manufactured using 5 nanometers lithography which will bring significant improvements there's a good chance that it will be the first 5 nanometers chipset to hit the market when it comes around the iPhone 12 Pro Max is expected to come with 6 gigs of RAM the standard iPhone 12 will only have 4 this is something that I think Apple actually do well compared to Android manufacturers they throw an unnecessarily large amount of memories causing the consumer to pay for memory that they don't even need when it comes to storage or expecting a choice of 64 to 5605 12 gigs of internal storage for the first time ever consumers fell Apple did a great job in prioritizing the battery life on the processor so hopefully that's something that can continue with the iPhone 12 or graphene batteries is still out of the question we can expect a 5.4 inch iPhone 12 to be around 2800 million power 6.1 inches probably going to be around 3156.7 and should contain a rent of 4300 million power battery one thing that is a little unknown at the moment is of course 5G connectivity Apple are very bad when it comes to 5G thanks to earlier issues with Qualcomm to run short this stage is that something we will see in the iPhone 12 is rumored that the iPhone 12 is can have 5G connectivity there aren't actually any leaks or reports to back that up the iPhone 12 is can be IP68 will to resist and it's of course can ship with iOS 14 now when it comes to pricing we of course want lower prices on the Apple iPhone 12 it does seem unlikely we did however have this with the predecessor when the base iPhone was actually cheaper than the exiles so it's not impossible unfortunately material prices have increased this year so I expect the smallest 5.4 inch iPhone to launch around $750 or £800 to 6.1 inch iPhone 12 to be around $900 on £950 the 6.1 inch iPhone 12 Pro to be $1,050 or £1,100 and finally the 6.7 inch iPhone 12 Pro to be about $1,200 or £1,250 of course it's not all about specs and would likely to see some new software features or improvements to the current features in iOS 14 the iPhone 12 is set to launch in September is a ways it's always around the second week they release it so we can expect to see the iPhone 12 range on either the 8th or 15 September and the iPhone 12 will be released about 10 days afterwards of course being so far away these are leaks and rumors as more information comes to light up a sharing with you guys straight away as a way so I'd like to know your thought there is always an iPhone I see is anyone waiting on the iPhone say plus and who is waiting on the iPhone 12 well guys thanks for watching and see you on my next video